can't stop the waves, but you can learn to surf. Hey there, how you guys doing today? Thanks for joining me for another episode of Bitcoin and Coffee. I'll be your host, Eugene Forrest. So what are we looking at today with these cryptocurrency markets? I mean, if you own, if you held a few of these altcoins, you're looking at some double digit gains. I mean, that's wonderful. We got an ever growing market cap coming in at $631 billion. I mean, we got a, quite a bit of this cryptocurrency moved around in the last 24 hours coming in at $53.4 billion. And we got BTC dominance that's slipping a bit. I mean, this is the first time I've seen it under 50% in a while coming in at 47.3% but I'm not concerned. I mean, I got faith in BTC. Uh, you know, I'm holding long on that. And, uh, you know, I pick up a few altcoins here and there to see if I can't, you know, up my BTC, right? So let me see, what do we got here? Well, we got Bitcoin down about 2.2%. No big deal, right? Uh, $17,838. I mean, we've come so far. I'm not going to complain about anything. Uh, we got Ethereum. They're making some sideways movement at this time, coming in at $839. But I mean, uh, on the other side, $800. On the other side, $825. Definitely satisfied. I'm not one to, to stare a gift horse in the mouth. Uh, these are some wonderful gains here, and I'm definitely satisfied as this year's coming out to a close. We could completely stop the markets and not get another dollar and I would be happy uh, so let me see we got Bitcoin cash 42% gains I mean a lot of this has to do a little bit of market manipulation potentially coming out of coinbase as they went ahead and released um, you know Bitcoin cash to a large majority of Bitcoin holders in the United States because they don't really understand exactly how to properly hold their Bitcoin and they still keep it on the wallets there at coinbase um, they went ahead and got that yesterday uh, the price came out. It was really high. The trading came out for four minutes and it stopped. They're looking at it potentially opening up this morning. Um, a lot of people did live videos on it last night. I'm sure you tuned in for those. Uh, we got Ripple coming in at 77.7 cents. That's down 2.8%. But I mean, hey, they had made some monster gains there. A little bit of a pullback's healthy, right? Uh, we got Litecoin coming in at $336. That's down 4%. Um, let me see. We got IOTA, $5.38. That's up. 31%. Wow, that is nice right there. Uh, Dash, $1,474. That's up 22%. You know I love it when Dash is making money. Uh, I mean, I'm having a great day already, and I ain't even done nothing besides have this cup of coffee. Uh, let me see. We got Nem, $1. $1 for a Nem, please. Coming in at a 7% gain. I mean, woo! Uh, we also got Bitcoin Gold coming in at $423. That's up 26%. I mean, you're making money with these ults today. Uh, we got Monero, $435. That's up 15%. And you wonder why this market cap's growing, right? Uh, we got Ethereum Classic. The underdog's even making some gains coming in at $44.24. That's up 6.7%. I mean, for them, that's pretty good. Uh, we got Zcash with the mark of the beast, $666. That's up 15%. I mean, that's nice. We got Monacoin making some gains too, $16.88. That's up 18.5%. We even got Steam. I mean, $3.12, getting close near those all-time highs again, coming in at $6.37. And we got the Steam back dollar going for $13.04 on Bittrex. I mean, that's definitely how you make some passive income right there. I think I need that today. So... I gotta say thank you to everybody who's coming over and upvoting those posts on Steam. I mean, you guys did it for me again yesterday. $250 on my Steam post. Uh, absolutely fantastic. You guys are making my holidays amazing, and I love it, and I love you guys for it. Uh, all the support you guys are giving me here at Bitcoin and Coffee. Um, I mean, we're closing in on a year of the show. It'll be January 26th when I hit one year of the show. Um, the followers have been growing. The help desk is always exploding. Um, I love it. I love you guys. I love this. This is the best thing I think I've ever done with my life is this Bitcoin and coffee and then participating in Bitcoin. Um, I couldn't be any more happy with what I'm doing right now. So as we move forward, let's take a look at some news. Uh, so first up, I mean, I got Charlie Lee selling or donating all of his Litecoin out there, saying that he was getting tired of hearing people saying that he was bias 
So he he's all in on Litecoin as a developer. I mean, he got rid of all of his Litecoin or donated it so that he cannot be swayed by the price value of it so that he can dedicate his full attention to, you know, developing the token or coin and getting it out there to the public and making it the best that it can be. Uh, this is awesome. This is great. I mean, if that's what he has to do, I'm sure he's already a millionaire. So, I mean, you know, millions on top of millions. I mean, he's already doing this just because because he could probably just cash up, go hang out at the beach, drink martinis and margaritas all day long and hang out with beautiful women if he wanted to. But instead, he's going to continue working on Litecoin for us. Thanks, Charlie. So next up, I got a little bit of more hacking news coming out of South Korea. We got Yobits. Uh, they're an exchange over there. They're getting hacked for the second time this year. Uh, first hack was for about $35 million. They're going to have to go ahead and file bankruptcy. They're saying they're going to be able to give about three-fourths of their value back to the customers. They're going to be looking at getting the other quarter of their value after they go ahead and file bankruptcy and all that paperwork's taken care of. Um, all the more reasons why I'm always telling you guys, you gotta be careful out there. Unless you own the private keys, you don't own your cryptocurrency, don't trust these exchanges. I mean, they're promising to give them back their money. That might not happen. Whether or not they were even behind it, nobody will probably ever really know. Uh, you gotta be safe out there. A lot of people want this stuff. Just because we're looking at a Bitcoin price of 17,800 a day, doesn't mean that, I mean, by the end of next year, we're not looking at a Bitcoin price of 100K. So, I mean, you should treat it like that. Uh, let me see. Last little bit. Okay. So Bitcoin Cash came out on Coinbase. Uh, a lot of people were very happy about this. A lot of people had mixed emotions about how they went about doing it, whether or not there was some market manipulation involved in it. I'm not really here to say that. You know, I try to stay very uncontroversial here, but I mean, it did seem a little funny. Let's just put it that way. Uh, you know, there was a spike in the price, so maybe some people from Coinbase uh, kind of took advantage and manipulated the market by buying some Bitcoin cash before it was released, knowing that there'd be a pump up in the price. Um, you know, they came out and they traded for four minutes and the price got locked on the screen very high, potentially sending a few people over to other exchanges to buy Bitcoin cash, thinking that they'll be able to f perform some sort of arbitrage. Um, you know, whether or not this Bitcoin cash has been manipulated from the very beginning by Roger Ver and Big Business, you know, that I'm not really here to say that. I know that the markets will end up determining this stuff at the end of the day. I know that personally, my true beliefs rest with BTC, uh, you know, I, I I know that I still hold just a little bit of Bitcoin cash. I dumped most of mine a ways back. I don't know if you people would like to take that as a way of me having some sort of bias against it or not. But I mean, it's never been my cup of tea here. So I mean, you're gonna do what you're gonna do, and you people, it's gonna it's gonna be what it's gonna be out there. I mean, Bitcoin cash is around. It is definitely finding lividity in the market. A lot of people are starting to collect this. A lot of people think that it could be the next big next big thing, and I'm sure it's gonna grow in value, and I'm sure it's gonna become popular as the years go on. But whether or not it's going to be better than the Bitcoin that we personally use, whether or not having an 8 megabyte block is going to centralize it, whether or not we are able to perform all of the tasks that it can perform with second tier solutions, time tells these things. So let's all just sit by, keep our ear to the ground, and hold our Bitcoin tight. So if you like everything that's going on here on Bitcoin and Coffee, please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. These numbers are continuous to, continuing to grow around here. We're trying to get you the news in under 10 minutes. We're trying to share what I'm doing, what I think about this stuff. Um, I also have all kinds of tools and affiliation codes listed down there below to try to help you guys figure out these markets, help you make some trades, figure out what's what. Definitely, I got Amazon links down there to get your hardware wallet. That's the best way to keep your cryptocurrency safe. Um, my number one recommendation. And yes, I know people are saying paper wallets, but if you're a new person and you have technical difficulties, paper wallets may not be the best solution for you. That's why a little $60 wallet or hardware wallet that plugs right into your computer with a simple user interface that shows up on Google Chrome. Um, it's really easy. It's simple. I mean, that's what we need here for the new people, right? Uh, so donational addresses, always accepting cryptocurrency to help fund the channel. But as I keep saying, come on over to Steam and upvote my post. It's one of the best things you can do to help me out. And as always, you guys, remember, keep your Bitcoin safe.